Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to the Big Bud DLC. First look, I guess we'll call it. Anyways, I'm going to break it down a little bit differently than other people. I'm going to look at just the tractors, then just the cedars, the cultivators, and then I'm going to look at everything else altogether. So let's take a look at the tractors to start us off with. So here are your options with the Big Bud. So you have the standard Big Bud. This is the Big Bud 16U747. So here it is in the shop. So the Big Bud 747. So here's your wheel options. You got standard, triples, and twins. And this tractor has 1,100 horsepower. Let me say that again, 1,100 horsepower. A little bit of a big tractor. So here's what it looks like on the outside with, with standard tires, twins or duals, and then triples. Uh, keep in mind with triples, you probably won't be able to find, you won't be able to get through many gates. And a lot of people have mentioned that already. So let's take a look around the outside. Very nice detail. Landy Kid mentioned the, the grill, and he is absolutely right. The grill in this is very nice. Also, take a look at the engine. If we hop in there, you can take a look at the engine. See the flywheel right there? A lot of detail went into this particular model. Uh, they did a really great job from what I can see so far. Also, random little side fact, the tires were made in Canada, as far as I understand. Also, one thing to know about this particular tractor, it only has the pin hitch right here. It only has this style of hitch. It doesn't have the three-point hitch. Okay, so keep that in mind. Got your hydraulics right there. Very nice. It is an articulated vehicle, and you can see right there, there's our drivetrain, I suppose. And it doesn't have a PTO in the back, so keep that in mind. It's all hydraulically driven. And apparently that is a camera up there. Okay, so let's hop into the tractor itself, take a look around. Old school television monitor up there. Or it might be monitor for something else. It must be the backup camera, I'm guessing. So, very nice looking model on the inside here. If we just take a look at this, in comparison to some of the other models we've seen of the Big Bud in the past, uh, i.e. in this case mods as opposed to a DLC, but this DLC is significantly better. Just from, I haven't even started it up yet, this is what it looks like on the inside. Very nice. Now one thing I'm going to do right here is I'm going to turn up the sound a little bit and let's go ahead and hear what the engine sounds like. So that's what the engine sounds like. It's not under load or anything, but that's just what it sounds like. It's got dual exhaust, as you can see here. Can you walk up here? Yeah, looks like you can. It's got dual exhaust, as you can see right there. One and two. Very nice. As far as I understand, it's got turbos as well in it. 1,100 horsepower, that guy. Checking the lights out. Nice. No beacons or anything crazy like that. No indicators, at least. Oh, that's strange. There's no hazard lights in the back, but there is in the front. All right, cool, whatever. Turn that off. So that's what it looks like with standard tires. I think it looks pretty good, actually. This is the ones with duels, of course. Exactly the same model. But you can see the, the size differences of these uh, when you get to the duels tires. Like, if we were to compare this to, let's say, a let's say a Challenger with twin wheels, just, just for arguments, like, let's go for the biggest one as well. Just so you can see a size comparison here of the two of them. Now the uh, Challenger is one of the bigger tractors that we have in the game. I don't think it is the biggest tractor, but it's one of the bigger ones. So let's take a look at the twins versus twins uh, in this these two tractors right here. Let's take a look. So look at the size comparison. So like with the twin tires alone, like the Challenger, if I had triples, it'd probably be the same size as the Big Bud here. Now, keep in mind that Challenger is only, I say only, uh, 646 horsepower with twin wheels. Uh, I think this one is even bigger, 692 horsepower, the Case Quad Track. So there you go. So that's what it looks like with twin tires. And as you can see, if we go over to the ones with triples, you can see how much of a difference it is over here as well. Just the monstrosity that it is in this case. So let's go ahead and just drive this around for a little bit so we can hear what the engine sounds like. I've never heard of Big Bud in real life, so you guys tell me if that sounds like it should. Some people have mentioned the fact that it may be a little too quiet, actually. That's what some people have said. So let's go ahead and go on the off-ramp here, just to give you a comparison of the road here. 
and the tires, as you can see, are collidable. So if we want to drive around Goldcrest here, you're going to take out signs. It's going to take up the whole street here. So just to put in a comparison. So there you go. That's what, that's what it's like with triples on it. Now, do we see anything on the inside that's changing? Can we see any indicators? No, nope. no. Nope. Nothing's moving other than the wheel. Are the speedos working? Let's take a look. Yep. So you've looked at the green speedo right there. Or tachometer it might be. It's moving, see on this side. Maximum speed of 32 kilometers an hour. You're not going to be winning any races with this thing. As you can see, it does leave tracks for all three tires, which is excellent. I'd be a little sad if it didn't, honestly. So there you go, that's the one with triples. Let's hop over to this guy right here. This is the other tractor that comes in the Big Bud DLC, and this guy is the 450. So for this one right here, it's, uh, as you can see, $620 a day for maintenance, 500 horsepower, 30 kph is its maximum speed, and it'll cost you $225,000. Pretty cheap for that powerful tractor. So that's 500 horsepower, that's 525, so that's double the price almost. And this is, yeah, yeah, this, these are in, this was the closest other one, I guess, at that cheap price. Maybe the T9, yeah, it's not that close, eh, yeah, the T9 is probably the closest one, and it's still more expensive. Now, given the fact that this is a, the T9 is a, a newer tractor versus this older tractor, so there you go. And also holds 2,000 liters of fuel, and the other one holds 3,785 7, 3, liters and a maintenance cost of $780 a day. So if you are using these on a regular basis and you've have the, all your farm with it, you may run out of money just for the maintenance costs. All right, so let's take a look at this one from the outside first. Very nice, you can see the flywheel in there. Like I said before, a lot of detail went into these things, like a lot more than you expect. Um, like I said before, in other reviews I've done of the DLCs, they've really upped their game in these. They've done a really great job uh, on this. One of those belts actually turn. We're gonna find out in a second here. So this tractor only has one option. It only has 500 horsepower, no tire changes, that's it. So that's all you get. I'm not sure if the tires in this one were made in Canada as well, but I think the other ones were power shift, 500 horsepower. So this is a diesel power. Some people have mentioned that the fact that it's a Cummins diesel. If you don't have any interesting information about Big Butt, either the 450 or the 747, leave a comment below with the interesting information you know. Because I'm curious. There's lots about the Big Bud deals, Big Bud in general that I don't know about. So very cool. Let's hop into this tractor. This one's got a bit of a different display in it, a bit more modern, I might say. Uh, wheels turn as per expected. We have a little bit of digital display. Let's turn the engine on here. Let's see what it sounds like. I'll be quiet here for a second. Okay. Not too bad. If you notice though, the flywheel does turn there. Take a look at that. Which is pretty neat. That's something you only used to see in, in uh, modded tractors, but it's good to see that Giants has decided to put that on some of their in-game tractors now, or DLC tractors. Which is really neat. Interesting that the sound is not very loud on the outside. So when you're here, you should be able to hear it outside of here. Oh, there it is. Apparently the sound is only in the front or on this side. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, this side is really quiet. That's bizarre. That might be a bug, I don't know. Anyways, let's see. Can you see the flywheel in this one too? Yep, there it is. You can see the flywheel in this. Very cool. I like that. Excellent. So there you go. Those are the two tractors from the Big Bud DLC. In other videos, in the next video, I'll try to I'll put the, I'll try to put them to work. I will put them to work in the field. But just want to give you an overview of just the tractors for now to keep this video relatively short. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments about the Big Bud DLC or the tractors themselves, leave a comment below with the information you know. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later.